guys, welcome back in 476 here bringing you the first video of my Total War Shogun 2 Let's Play series. Uh, in light of my new hardware that I've attained through my new PC, I now thought I would start making some of these Let's Plays because I love this game to bits, it's a fantastic game and it has every right to be on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be doing a new campaign. Uh, I'm going to stick with Shogun 2 for a minute, depending on how that goes I might do a Rise of the Samurai or Fall of the Samurai 1. Depending on how I'm feeling. Anyway, let's get on with the show one two. And for this uh, let's play, I'm going to choose a new clan which has been introduced in a DLC called the Otomo Clan. And they are master gunners. Uh, they have reduced recruitment costs for gun pilot infantry, faster import of matchlocks, reduced costs for missionary actions, and improved rate of conversion to the clan's religion. Now, the Otomo Clan are Christian. That is their basic, uh, you could say, skill. Um, which means that they have better trading with the West because they appreciate their views more, obviously, because they're the same religion. Uh, so we can import weapons more um, more efficiently. Uh, so that's sort of their, their master gunners. They can get um, matchlock troops very easily. So that's going to be their sort of the bulk of their armies in terms of the main troop type. Um, but obviously, you do have you're still going to stick with the traditional units, but. Um, uh, in terms of the Otomo clan, their mastery is gunpowder. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll, wa I'll watch the, um, the first uh, opening scenes. Strangers have come to our shores. They bring weapons of smoke and fire. Weapons that kill without honor. Without skill. Uh, they are some of the new units uh, we'll get to use. Our Portuguese Turcos. And they're but even pretty so, damn good. these foreigners and their guns could give a man power and victory. And victory wipes away dishonor. Truth has come with the foreigners. And souls can be saved by following the church's teachings. Heathens who cling to the old ways will be compelled by the power of Christ to kneel before God. My fellow Jesuits landed recently on your shores and found that we have much in common. We have our deep loyalty to the Holy Father in Rome. You have a deep loyalty to your daimyo and to the Shogun. Our loyalties have provoked others and made them enemies. For such is the way of the world. Now your country is in turmoil. The Shogun's authority wanes and your own position is threatened by lesser men. Together though, we can be strong. Trade with us brings you the strength of God, wealth, and guns to arm the righteous. The lands of your old rivals, the Ouchi, are near. Seize them, punish your rivals, and gain a foothold on the mainland. The Shimazu resent the favor you enjoy in the eyes of the Shogunate and the close friendship we have between us. Be wary of them for their delusions of superiority will make them determined to see you crushed. Be vigilant, and all will be well. The heathens will be brought to the Lamb, or they will be destroyed. By God's grace, the Otomo will prevail. Okay, uh, so basically the uh, little advisor here if our um, is to become has basically shogun, advised us that military sure. ruler of um, has advised us to, if we want a foothold on J uh, the Japanese mainland, we're going to have to take Auchi because that is generally the weakest part um, of the uh, for us to invade. And also, it's the, you know, we've got a straightforward pass in the mainland without having to use ships, so much better idea. Um, the Shoni are also going to have to be taken out, they're fairly weak at this stage, so an early attack might be the best option. Um, the uh, Ito clan here are probably going to be, we're at peace with them at the minute, but generally on the whole they might cause an issue for us, because on this island they are the more dominant clan. Because um, you've, you've got Satsuma here, which 
they do actually, they can sprout up in the middle of the game, but if we quickly take these provinces, uh, they will can do really, unless waging war with us, they can really do no more than stay there. So, uh, to begin, I'm just going to assess the damage. 4,000. Okay, so. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do. Right. I will start building a chapel uh, in Bungo. Christianity is going to be on the rise, that's fine. And let's see what we've got here. And build some roads. And. Not really in. I'll build a Yari drill yard because we're going to need to start training some troops. And I will start building. Uh, what have we got in terms of units? Same for each. Okay. Start building some. Let's start with keep 150. Uh, we'll go with some Yari Ashigaru and some Bow Ashigaru. Just to tidy it up. Uh, for we will start learning the way of Chi. Um, but it's plain see. Let's see who wants to. Right. We are already trading with the Ito actually, so they might be nicer to us than we thought. Uh, the Alchi were hostile, obviously. Uh, Sagir. Uh, Okay, I'll start trading with them for the time being. An unexpected, unexpected meeting me. Right, okay. And the Shoni are hostile, that's fine. But we're going to take them out as early as possibly. Uh, I can build some roads there as well. That is fine. I'm gonna send over I'll send over the Aria Shigaru. Just for some more backup, because I don't think we're gonna have any trouble from the Ito to begin with. Now, basically, um, if for those of you who don't know about the Total War franchise, this Yari Ashigaru provide uh, excellent Arik. defense against enemy cavalry charges. Basically, it's explaining it's that you have this little pop-up window the first time that you um, uh, start. You, the first time you build a certain type of unit. And basically it's saying Yari Ashigaru, which are these guys, they're fantastic against cavalry and when they're in um, a spear wall formation they're pretty good defensively, but other than that they're pretty poor. <laughs> they break easily because they have very low morale, they're n next to no armour so arrows just tear them apart. Uh, but the you know, they're, they're in masses they're pretty, ha they're pretty effective so, and as, when you're starting out you don't really need, you know, elite samurai so they'll do for now. We've just gained some more Yari Ashigaru in here as well. Okay. Um, what else can I do? Put some money in. Let's make some more farms. I'll start with them shortly. Now I am actually considering. I'll start off some trade actually. See if I can, get that going. can I build? No, I can't. I have to build a harbour. Uh, so you have some matchlock cabayas, which actually, even though they're very small, they can probably be one of the most, if they have matchlocks, they can be one of the most effective um, boats available. Oh, there you go. So you've shown you already, He's already an armed coming ship. to attack us. I did. So, that is one thing we're going to have to be wary of, unfortunately. Uh, see their army. Okay, it just consists of Ashigaru, just like ours, so nothing to, nothing that we can't defeat. Uh, my units won't be able to make it there in time, so... Um, this is a stronghold, so we will get a wall if they attack. So I'm going to let them try to take us without... Because I'll have a better... Sh I'll, I'll have less deaths, if that makes sense. Right, so I'll send that trade ship over to there. Let's try and boost my income a little bit. some warehouses for when we start trading because it increases your trade tariffs. Uh, Christianity is on the rise. Yeah, so yeah, the same for um, Total War franchise is basically a turn-based strategy campaign game. Oh, I'm not being attacked from both sides. Um, turn-based strategy campaign game which uh, basically in this game um, you are in uh, Japan during the Civil War which was basically when the Shogunate um, was pretty weak at this point. Um, 
and the sword, because all the main, cl all the major clans were basically not listening to him. So he thought, you know what, time for a new leader. So the whole Japan's basically in civil war with uh, about ten different main clans trying to gain control of Kyoto, which is here. Um, and basically, once you, you the basically main aim is to take Kyoto and hold it for three turns. And then once you've done that, you then claimed Shogunate of, of Japan. Uh, and that's sort of the main aim. Here we're quite far away from Kyoto, so we're going to have to fight our way in. But so long as we build, if we get, if we take this island, we'll set up a good economy. And then we can start producing some professional armies to go and take out the um, uh, people defending the Shogunate. Oh, I'm kind of worried that we're going to have a two-pronged attack here. So let's check if they're allies. Shoni. They don't have any allies, that's fine. So if they attack me, they won't be help each other out. I can take them one at a time, which is, I suppose, better. It's still not great. I'll make some more Boashigaru. Uh, okay. I'm not attacking them in a minute because when it's winter, uh, obviously, if they're on, the, if they're on their own, um, in our provinces, they're going to suffer attrition, uh, which basically means part of their army dies because of the cold, bad conditions, etc, etc. Uh, so you can sort of, if they're in if they're in your provinces when it's winter, um, they will slowly kill themselves. Uh, it's a nice thought, but it's, um, it's true. So you sort of leave them to it when they're there because they'll just slowly die off if they don't move. And that's why they've moved back to their province now uh, in order to try and um, limit their losses. With this uh, trade theatre here, uh, basically the more trade ships you have, the more you can trade, and the more money you gain from it. So at the minute I'm gaining uh, 25, well I'm not producing cotton, but um, it's going importing it, and w w what you do with these trade things, you get raw materials that you wouldn't be able to find here in Japan, such as cotton, and then you then can trade them with other allies, and your trade um, profits increase from other enemies, from other uh, clans, if you have things to trade, such as cotton. So, you want to try and get one of them as soon as possible. Let's build some Yarashigaru. Now I'm a bit, um, a bit concerned, really, because if these two armies keep staying here, if I as soon as I move out of here, they're just going to come in and take it. So the only really thing I can do is wait until they attack me, defeat them in a battle, and then um, carry on. Yeah, let's check if that's fine. No, I'll do Rashida. Yeah, oh, here we go. Nope, you're just going to attack it again. Fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. Can't be if they're just going to keep killing it, then what's the point in keep building it? Make another bow Ashigaru. So I've got four Yari Ashigaru and three bow Ashigaru. So. Ah, the Oda have been destroyed. They are a clan that specialises in peasant military, which are these Ashigaru. And uh, they've got, they have the famous warlord Oda Nob Nobunaga. Anyone's, uh, a big fan of 15th century Japan. There you go. <laughs> okay, I see the Alchi, uh, the Alchi. What kind of a name is that? Uh, the Uchai? I call them the Uchai, so that sounds better. Uh, pretty much coming in to invade. We're at war with them and they're building up an army just across the border, so they're, uh, they'll be here in a matter of minutes. That's why I'm building up my Ashigaru army. Uh, carrying on my trade ship production. It's fully Christian there. Yes, it is. Now with missionaries, you can actually have some fun with these because you can pretty much try and get people in um, somebody else's province to rebel against their current leaders, uh, which then can cause a bit of panic because um, then they sort of make a rebel army and that sort of disrupts them. And you know they can actually take them, take over them. Nope, nope. 
for an attack. Right, okay. Alright, what I'm going to do... Oh, missionary increases in rank. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go against what I said before, and I'm going to actually attack them, because I'm just going to keep getting attacked by these guys unless I do something. Uh, really oh yes, and your agents can also um, level up. Matter of fact, and as you level up, they have skills, traits, and retainers which can increase their abilities in certain things. Right, okay, so start out. I'm already kind of worried because they have bow samurai. And bow samurai pretty much do exactly what they say on the tin. They are uh, elite bow units that can fight very well with a sword. Now, I deploy, I outnumber them by quite a large margin, but mine are all peasant infantry. Um, they have some samurai. Disastrous. And we do have actually. This is this is going to work in my favour. On the battle map, we do have a river separating us. Now that will be good because I've got spare units, so I can just put them into a choke point um, and attack them. Um, but considering I am attacking, uh, they might stay where they are. They might not come across the river. So. Uh, we might have a situation. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Uh, right. I'll skip the general um, screaming, shouting. Right, and on the battles of Total War games, you can fight them um, on the battle map, which is very. Which is pretty much the whole fun of this game. Uh, the campaign's good, but the battles are really great. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. Complete credit to the Creative Assembly for making these games. Into bits. I can't wait for Rome to. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my archers at the front and my spade units behind. Um, basically, I'm just going to see what. They oh, and the match locks. Uh, I'll keep them on the flank. Okay, so this is the enemy's army. Um, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. Where are they going? Oh, I know what they're doing. Right, they're moving towards the hill. So they're obviously they're planning to entrench. So what we're going to have to do is going to have to send the uh, send the whole army across. Um, and and most likely uh, we're just going to have to. I think how we're going to do this. We do have some general cavalry. Which I think we do you like to use cavalry actually? This uh, general cavalry is actual cavalry, which seems idiotic when I've got a load of spearmen, but we're doing it. Um, we might have to bring my archers forward and try and pull them out of position because if they're up on the hill, uh, especially if I've got peasant infantry, they're going to they're not really going to put up much of a fight. So I'm going to have to. Do this tactfully. Ah, I've just fast forward the speed of the game just a little bit. Oh no, I'm um, readjusted now. They've seen that I've moved that I'm moving across. And now they seem to be walking towards us, so. Um am I gonna be able to get there in time? I don't think so. Alright. Cha quick change of plan. I will line up just before the river.
Especially with the um, samurai, that's not really what you want. Okay. You're gonna have to pull some more arches out here. Archers in the back to give me some sort of uh, advantage. Things down the side. But to be quite honest with you, there's not much really they can do. Okay. Um, it's become apparent that <laughs> my units seem to have died. Now, <laughs> this is. For a number of reasons, probably for my poor plan. Uh, reckless distribution for units. I could try actually and rally these units. Uh, rally these units. And we have managed to recover Our general these in units. Grave danger, my lord. So, which is very, very good indeed. You guys get back on fire. They haven't lost yet. Yet, gentlemen. We have not lost yet. Shoot the bow, sir. Samurai routing. And I think, actually, I have just managed to turn this battle around to my favour. Oh, yes, we have. Well, if you talk about the skin of your teeth, that certainly is a very <laughs> big demonstration. My lord! Changing a from glorious certain victory will uh, soon be yours! Victory. Just if that moved a bit quick for people to uh, see, my um, peasant infantry, due to their very low morale and pretty much unwillingness to fight, uh, broke off due to their samurai, most likely, um, having ridiculous amounts of skill and uh, uh, just killing them. Um, oh Jesus, that's a graphic. Um, so, uh, what happened was I got my general to rally his troops and say, so, hold the line. And they did indeed, and they performed and managed to break the enemy. Now I'm going to have to. The only thing who's left, their general, uh, sorry, their army is their general, which I'm going to have to take out. I'm hoping he comes down after me because. Yeah, put, into a, put my units into a spare wall formation. 
Oh, this is going to be good. Halt. Oh. And complete whitewash. Running into a wall of spears in your cavalry is never, <laughs> ever a good idea. These peasant infantry have just routed the enemy general without even blinking. So, all in all, a good but close victory. Decisive victory. I'm surprised I did not get a close victory. That's, that is, that was by the skin of my teeth. Um, so I'm very pleased that has come off. Right. Here we are. So, uh, some of my Irish guys actually come to XP rank 5 because of that game. Uh, I deployed 1,800 and lost 834, but I killed 1,319. Uh, they deployed what, three, uh, 1,320 and lost 1,319, so they had one guy left, but and he's running away. That's fantastic. Uh, but I kind of have to stay at home and uh, defend my people. But anyway, guys, this has been part one of my Shogun 2 Let's Play. Uh, please stay tuned for more episodes of this and thanks guys for, again for watching. Cheers.